In step three of exercise number three, the following actions have to be implemented to add an iMachining 2D operation to the cam part and define the rough machining of the outside contour. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. For this exercise, the default iRough technology is used to perform the rough machining on a 3-axis Haas SS. The first step of definition is the geometry selection. On the geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the outside contour. For the first operation, the geometry is defined as an open pocket with island. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the bottom edge of the stock model as shown. Select Auto Constant Z in the Chain section of the Geometry Edit dialog box to close the chain. The confirmation message OK to Accept is displayed. Click the Yes button to accept the selection. The chain icon appears in the Chain List section. Next, pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Select Auto Constant Z and click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Chain 2 appears in the Chain List. In the chain list, right-click the outer chain, chain 1, and choose Mark Chain as Open. This will enable the tool to approach from the outside and start machining from this chain. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. The next step of definition is the tool selection. Switch to the tool page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select the already created 12mm diameter end mill with a cutting length of 24mm. Then, click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. The next step of definition is the selection of the milling levels. Switch to the Levels page of the iMachining Operation dialog box to define the milling levels for the operation. Click the Upper Level button to define the Z level at which the machining will start for the operation. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select either the top face of the stock model or the top face of the target model since both surfaces exist on the same Z level. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button to define the machining depth for the operation. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, Select the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to see how the cutting conditions were automatically calculated based on the tool information and milling levels defined for the operation. Looking at the output grid in the step-down section, you can see that the wizard calculated two steps at a 15mm step-down to achieve the 30mm total depth. Note the ACP value is set to 2 and the field is painted green. The ACP value coincides with the color of the step-down row. To show where the two ACPs come from, I am going to switch to a fully modeled end mill representing the current tool at a step-down of 15 millimeters. By looking at a sectional view, you can see the number of contact points the tool has with the vertical wall it is producing. Not counting the bottom point of the end mill, you can see there are two contact points lined up vertically. This is where the two ACPs come from. Moving back to the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box, the green color in the output grid is an indication that the current situation for stability is good. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRough Outside Contour. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to present the wireframe toolpath. The tool moves around the part model at the 15mm depth and then steps down to the 30mm total depth, machining the entire outside contour. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. 
At this stage, the rough machining of the outside contour is defined, and the wizard automatically calculated the ACP value based on a 30mm total depth. 